This week we are celebrating Joe Maurer's call to the Baseball Hall of Fame with a look back at some of his career highlights. He left St. Paul's Creighton Durham Hall as one of the most celebrated high school athletes the state has ever seen. And to paraphrase Joe himself, you couldn't have written a better ending to his high school sports career. Former WCCO sports reporter Ed Heil caught up with Joe after the MLB draft in 2001. Joe Maurer walked into today's news conference at Creighton Durham Hall, but he probably felt like he was floating on air. It's crazy, I tell you. You know, like I said a year ago, I never would have thought I'd be in this position, but uh, you know, here I am, and it's just an unbelievable feeling. And no one in this state knows the feeling because Joe is the first Minnesotan to be selected first in the major league draft. And to top it off, he's going to be a twin. You know, I've always grew up watching the Twins, and you know, it's just like a perfect fit, I guess. Then again, after watching Joe play football, Florida State figured the National Player of the Year was a perfect fit in Tallahassee. And after watching Joe play basketball, a lot of college coaches thought he'd be a perfect fit for their team. But after the Twins saw Joe play baseball, they saw a powerful left-handed hitting catcher that's a perfect fit for their organization. He wants to become a major league player, and that's a pretty good thing to have come out of a young man's mouth that I indeed want to play in the major leagues. And hearing your son's name followed by the words, the number one player picked in the major league draft is also a good thing to hear. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's a dream come true. Actually, when he found out, he gave his dad a big hug and he had a little tears in their eyes. It was special, really special. It's mind boggling, I tell you. Whoever thought one of these northern boys could uh, get picked number one for baseball. Now, before Joe can begin concentrating on his relationship with the Minnesota Twins, he needs to wrap up his relationship here at Creighton Durham Hall. After all, he and his Raider teammates are trying to bring home a state championship. In St. Paul, I'm at Heil, WCCO for Sports. Creighton went on to win the Class 2A state title Joe's senior year. That season, he batted 605 and hit a home run in seven consecutive games. Now, Maurer's career is what dreams and fairy tales are made of. A lot of young people watching this at home going, uh huh, I want to do that. <laughs> but this Sunday, he will accept his place in the Hall of Fame. And one of the many interesting side stories, another number one pick, Paul Molitor, is out of the same high school and later made, uh, managed Joe on the Twins. So Molitor went into the hall 20 years ago and said the gravity of the moment will probably hit Joe on Sunday night. I think he's going to be overwhelmed a little bit just by what he finds when we get into that members only dinner on Sunday night and he gets introduced to the group and gets up there, accepts his Hall of Fame ring and his lifetime pass and uh, He'll look out in that room and he'll see some contemporaries, although he's going to be the youngest guy, and he's going to see a lot of people that help inspire his dreams. WCCO celebrates Joe Maurer's career from St. Paul to the Hall. We have a one hour special with reflections from Joe, his family and teammates Sunday at 11 a.m. That's on TV and streaming for free on CBS News Minnesota. We'll be broadcasting live from Cooperstown, New York and from Target Field.